Today let's learn the summary of the chapter The Book That Saved the Earth by Claire Both from Class 10 English. If you're watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. You can listen to the explanations of lessons from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. Let's move on to the video now. About the author, Claire Bacco is a famous author of children's books. She excelled in period plays. Her main works include plays and programs for boys and girls, The Cry Baby Princess, dramatized parodies of family stories, and children's play for creative actors. Introduction. This is a science fantasy. This imaginary story is set in the 25th century. A historian is giving a talk to the audience about the 20th century and telling the audience that the 20th century was often called the era of books. She says that one old book of nursery rhymes saved the world from a Martian invasion. Then in the 25th century, they resumed contact with Mars and they became friends. Here is a summary. This is a science fantasy and imaginary story set in the 25th century. The place is the Museum of the Ancient History Department of the 20th century. There's a historian sitting at a table. There is a movie projector on the table. She is giving a talk to the audience about the 20th century. She tells the audience that the 20th century was often called the era of books. <coughs> In those days there were books about everything they taught the people everything but the strangest thing was that a book saved the earth she narrates a real story from the 21st century she tells how the martians invaded the earth and a book of nursery rhymes saved us from their attack the incident relates to the martian invasion of 2040 in fact the invasion never took place a single book stopped it it was not a noble encyclopedia or a book of rockets and missiles it was a book of nursery rhymes then the historian shows the audience the happenings that actually took place these have been recorded in a film she turns on the projector it shows the mars space control room We see Think Tank who is the commander in chief. He has a huge egg shaped head. He wears a long robe decorated with stars and circles. His deputy Noodle stands beside him at a switchboard. Think Tank has already sent a manned spacecraft to the Earth. Their purpose is to collect information about the Earth's defense system and send it back to the other spacecraft from Mars who are ready to attack the Earth before launch. Think Tank asks Noodle to place him in communication with their manned space probe to the planet Earth. Think Tank says they are going to take it over. Noodle establishes his contact with the Mars space control. Captain Omega and his deputies are in a library. They came on the Earth in order to gather secrets of the Earth defense. They have landed in a library. They have seen the books and the library for the first time. Think Tank talks to Captain Omega who tells him that they have arrived on Earth without any incident. As they have never seen a library before, they are not sure what they are. However, Lieutenant Iota tells Think Tank that there are about 2000 peculiar items which are books. She thinks that the place must be some storage barn. Sergeant Oop also says that he has never seen before anything like those things. He calls them hats. Omega asks for Think Tank's advice. Through his remote camera, Think Tank looks at the books. He calls them eatables and they are in a refreshment stand. He says that what they have in their hands are sandwiches. They are the main food of Earth diet. Think Tank orders Omega to eat it to confirm. Omega asks Lefnan Iota to eat it. Iota orders Sergeant Oop to eat it. Oop bites a corner of the book. He pretends to chew and swallow and tells Think Tank that it is delicious. 
After some time, Noodle informs Think Tank that a bit of data floated into his mind. Now he has found that the people of the earth do not eat them, but they use them as communication devices. Think Tank also believes what he tells him. He orders Omega to listen to the books. He puts a book to his ears and tries hard to listen. Think Tank asks Omega if he can listen to something from them. Omega replies that they may not be on the correct frequency. Think Tank says that the earthlings have sharper ears. Noodle says that he has a piece of information in his mind. The people of the earth open them and watch them. Now Think Tank says that those sandwiches are for eye communication. He asks Captain Omega to take three sandwiches and tell him what he sees in them. Omega looks at the books and tells Think Tank that they have pictures of earthlings. They have some sort of code, lines and dots with pictures. He asks him to study the picture and decipher the code in them. The book that Omega is looking at is a nursery rhyme book. He reads the nursery rhyme Mistress Mary. Think Tank wonders how the earthlings have combined agriculture and mining. They also grow explosives. He feels that the people of the earth are very intelligent and brave. Noodle says that the invasion spacecrafts are ready to attack the earth. But Think Tank asks Noodle to tell the invasion fleet to hold. New information has come to him. Think Tank asks Iota to transcribe the information. She reads the nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, ran away with the spoon. Think Tank feels alarmed. He thinks that the earthlings have reached a higher level of civilization. They have taught their domesticated animals music and space techniques. They may be launching an interplanetary attack of millions of cows. He asks him to notify the invasion fleet that there will be no invasion that day. Then Oop reads the nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty again. He shows the picture of Humpty Dumpty also. The picture resembles Think Tank. He is scared. He says that the earthlings have seen him. They are planning to capture mass central control and him. He decides to run away from Mars. He orders Noodle to prepare a space capsule for him. He must escape without delay. The earthlings are coming to capture Mars. Noodle asks Think Tank where they all shall go. Think Tank replies that they will go to the planet Alpha Centauri, a hundred million miles away. After showing this film, the historian says that one old book of nursery rhymes saved the world from Martian invasion. Then in the 25th century, they resumed contact with Mars. They became friends. Think Tank was replaced by Noodle. They taught the Martians the difference between books and sandwiches. They established a model library on Mars, but they can never read one book. It is Mother Goose. Let's look at the questions and answers. Question number one. How did the children's book transform Think Tank's life? Answer. The children's book transformed his life as he had to leave his skin and evacuate the entire planet. He had to go to Alpha Centauri a hundred million miles away to save his life. Question number two. Why did Think Tank react in alarm to the third passage read? Answer. Think Tank reacted in alarm as he misunderstood the meaning of the poem and thought that they can actually grow crops of rare metals and explosives also which are dangerous for him. Question number three. What different guesses were made by the Martians about what books are? Answer. In the process of Martian invasion on Earth, they landed in a library. They took the books as sandwiches and tried to understand the meaning of the code. And for that, they had to take vitamins given by the chemical department. They thought it would increase their intelligence. Read the extract and answer. Extract number one. A hundred million miles away from Mars, order the invasion fleet to evacuate the entire planet of Mars. We are heading for Alpha Centauri, a hundred million miles away. Questions. Where were they heading? Why are they going there? Which planet do Think Tank and other Martians escape to? How far was it from Mars? 
here are the answers they were heading for alpha centauri a hundred million miles away from mars they were going to evacuate the entire planet of mars alpha centauri it was a hundred million miles away from mars let's look at the second extract the earthlings have reached a high level of civilization didn't you hear they have taught their domesticated animals musical culture and space techniques even their dogs have a sense of humor why at this moment they may be launching an interplanetary attack on millions of cows notify the invasion fleet no invasion today oop questions who is the speaker what could have been the recent strat strategy of the earthlings what was the second rhyme about how did think tank interpret it here are the answers think tank is the speaker of these lines the earthling strategy may be to launch an interplanetary attack on millions of cows this was about the cat and the fiddle the cow jumped over the moon the dog laughed to see it etc he thought that the earthlings had reached a level of high civilization they thought their domesticated animals musical culture and space techniques extract number 3 i wish to be placed in communication with our manned space probe to that ridiculous little planet we are going to put under our generous rulership who is the speaker here which is a little planet he is referring to what does he intend to do who tried to invade the earth in the 21st century who is think tank let's look at the answers think tank he is referring to the planet earth he is a martian who along with other martians is planning to invade the earth the martians tried to invade earth they wanted to include earth in his domain he is an arrogant self praising ruler of mars